Damn, where the hell are my pants? Excuse me, have you seen my pants? Oh god, it's you. Oh, what happened last time? Um, nothing. Nothing happened last time. Um, I just, uh, lost my pants in a completely normal and not embarrassing way at all. Uh, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure we won. I, I heard, I heard, uh, I heard some cheering in there and I figured, you know, that's gotta be for us, right? No way Chivo and Chums lose this one. Weird enough, I think my pants strategy actually worked, but, uh, it kind of backfired a little bit. It's still crazy that we met Elizabeth in there, though. Uh, she's just a girl from, uh, from way back that I knew. Yeah, and from the sounds of it, I think Pretzel was the MVP out there, because, uh, they're chanting her name pretty hard. Yeah, and I guess we're off to the finals now, and, you know, we're really gonna, uh, we're gonna win that one. Or at least we're gonna get what we came for. Not sure how on board Gil is gonna be with this one, but, uh, I guess we'll just have to roll with it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just... Roll. Roll. Shit, man! I thought I was... Dude, I thought I was gonna roll. Okay, I'm next, next dude. We always, we always no, have a, we have a set it. order. Charlie, Charlie you're always, always, I'm not we have a I'm set not order. Tag. Charlie, now you're, now you're at tag. No, you can't no we're not playing not tag. I, how it works. Oh not my god. Charlie Slime Seagull, and I play Gillian Tide Strider oh tag. Fucking you're it now. My disappointment is immeasurable. Can we start it over? Welcome back to Just... Roll. With it. Fuck. We did it! No, we did it! No, we did it! it. On my side, it was just... Let's just try it one more time. Can we just get one more time? Welcome back to Just... Just... Welcome back to... <laughs> I'm Bisley, and I play Chip. I'm Con to Fiction. I play Jay. <sighs> I'm Charlie Slimesicle. My disappointment Guys. is immeasurable. And my day is Gillian Tide Strider. Dude, I can literally, I can literally feel tears forming. I'm so upset. We can't so, let this failure mess us up now. We have to come back stronger. You're right. Hi guys, welcome back to Prime Defenders. My name's Dakota Cole, and I play as Grizzly. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Charlie Slimesicle. <laughs> but when we're playing, I'm sad. <laughs> Dude, this can't stay in. You I mean, we're in Wisp. Hey, yeah. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't know about this, it's on the Patreon. You have to pledge to listen. All right. So, where are we last left off? The three of you, Chip. Old Lady J and Killian, Killian continued the competition of Jack the Jolly Roger inside of the Paramount Tournament. You became part of the three final teams, the others including the purple team of the Dingleberry, aka Randberry Pirates, and a lone samurai and his white flag. Chip recognized this pirate known as Captain Lizzie, but not because of the wanted posters you all saw before, but because of his past. And both of you took to the ground in a grappling jujitsu type combat, noticing she didn't recognize you at first, uh, but eventually put the pieces together and then knocked you out. <laughs> then knocked you and your pants down, I should say. Before that, however, you and Gillian enacted a plan of tying a string of pants to both, both the remaining flags. And with the pants around his waist, Gillian began to tide stride like a training exercise, pulling the purple and white flag to your flag. Marshal John and the samurai were at a standstill in a never-ending headlock of love. And then a new obstacle appeared as, a circu as the circular arena was split in half by a tall wall of fire. But Gillian managed to carry on through the fire and the flames, and with the help of your team's most valuable pretzel, Secured the Dingleberry's flag, teleporting that whole team out of the arena, despite Captain Lizzie's last attempt to stop you. Then, with the final white flag in your position, in the possession of Old Lady J, Gillian challenged the samurai to an honorable final duel to decide the winner. And after an explosion of ice and clashing swords, you all won. Jack the Jolly Roger, and advancing to the grand finals. The Dome of Destiny, as the Baron called it. And so, the journey <laughs> continues. You guys made your way back to the room where you were held up in uh, at the beginning, and you see Jay lying unconscious at first. <laughs> Wait, Jay? Chip. Sorry, no, Chip lying unconscious at first. Hey, Gillian and oh, Jay, you guys right. make your way back to the room, and uh, he, he seems to be convulsing a little bit, almost, almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, 
He stabilizes and his breathing steadies. Uh, however, he's still unconscious at the moment until Jay walks over and gives him uh, points of healing and uh, you're back awake. 12 points of healing. Welcome back. Oh, a slap. We did it. <laughs> we checked off Roger. No, don't say that. Oh, God. I didn't Who think did you could. jack off? <laughs> no, it was no. My we... destiny. Oh. We, jack we jacked the Jolly Rogers. Oh, man. That's what I said. Did no, the pants you... work? Oh, the pants did more than worked. Oh, yes. Excellent plan, I Chibo. Can't or should that I call worked. you Chip? I'm gonna not be an old lady. I anymore figured now. it out. I figured it out, and I've realized that even though you said your name was Chibo in the tournament, actually you were Jay. When did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> I've been here the entire time, Gil. Did you find? Did you kill that poor old woman who just wanted to die? She's not coming back, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, thank the gods. So well, she ever wanted it more. Useful. What do you mean? <laughs> that sucked. So we won? Yeah, we did. We won. We're moving As, on uh, to... This is what did I we didn't win? name it. I didn't name it, but we're moving on to the Dome of Destiny. Oh, no. There's yes. yes. Yeah, no, we oh, still have to fight more. the immortal guy. It's got okay. destiny in the name. Okay. We're going. We're so going. Okay. We're there. We're already there. I'm there uh, now. We got bigger problems, I think. What do you mean? Are you, uh, are you talking about the girl the, 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 placed in the thing? It's. You talk I'll about. Ex I'll explain later. We gotta. We gotta. Where are we? We're down underneath. How did I get out of there? <laughs> you know, <laughs> teleported. <laughs> What are you doing? Why are you making sound? <laughs> stop. 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 Both stop. Jesus. Jade was Jade was a bit more of a like a no, like I a, think it was like you know, like I don't know what happened right in front of me. I heard more of like This is know, haunting. What you're doing is no. haunting. This is gonna have nightmares. It's kind of like a No no it was, it was really sort of no I I didn't hear the ending the ending tale of it, but it was definitely like a I think it was more like a you know, like, if we're just being honest with each other, it was really just a at the end okay, of the guys, day. Okay, guys. I'm not going to argue about this, okay? <laughs> so it's tomorrow. Yes. So either way you slice it, we either get 20,000 gold or whatever they give us. Yeah, that, that strange thing. Funny bead. A funny bead. Actually, uh, when you say funny bead, Gillian, make a history check. <laughs> funny bead. <laughs> Uh, okay, history history check uh, with a minus one in history is gonna be a thirteen. How funny is this beat? Okay, thirteen is is um enough to recognize it from books in the undersea. Oh shit! Uh, you would know it to be a religious artifact, but don't remember exactly what it does, okay. where it's from, or who, what its importance is. All I know is it's a religious artifact. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Listen, Chip. All yeah, I know funny beat. is that I had a gun to me yesterday, and I don't want to be an old woman anymore. So but we're gonna have to figure something. One else day out. you will be. Well, okay, yeah, one day. But and right then now, you can die in I'm battle as well. and young, and my hips don't hurt. So I mean, <laughs> what's wrong with being an old lady? I think you pulled it off. Okay, yeah, but well, I wanted than, to. Better uh, than you do not. I, I, I <laughs> you are, you are the worst. <laughs> Rest her soul. The girl in there, she, uh, she was there. Where? In the, the ship, yeah, the, no, no, the. Your ship, the Midnight Rose. Mm-hmm. They had another. That had to been like, ages ago. How... Yeah, so I guess. You... Captain Lizzie is little Elizabeth who ate hot dogs and cried. Well, destiny is destiny. <laughs> Choose who have a chance to catch up. Um, no, not really. She just kind of pulled my pants down. Well, she, your pants died. are still down, actually. Nice. Fate has a weird way of manifesting sometimes. <laughs> yep, they are down. Those are down. Look at that. Yep. So the, it looks like the flames actually fully incinerated them as well. There's nothing left. <laughs> hey, stop burnt, looking. Burned all the Same other pants too. Show. Where do you, you where nothing. do you get these underpants from? I don't know. I got a guy. Don't worry about my underpants, Jay. We got to talk to her. She could know where they are. And she has a crew. Okay, think about it, right? 
if she has a crew, we don't need to go find a crew. We could just use her crew and she could take us there and we could find them. Or maybe she knows where they are. That's, uh, you're, you're probably asking for a lot here. I will say. <laughs> well, she say. would want to find them too. She was there. She knows. What if she doesn't? I don't even know how she got off the ship. We better go catch her then before she goes wherever she's going after this. Well, maybe she's still down here in, in these cages. <laughs> you guys actually would notice that your door to this, this small chamber where it was basically the waiting room for your team is wide open and there are still the other teams walking past the door now leaving and exiting the arena from where they came. Mm -hmm. And I've never met a man as hydrated as Caspian, so. Yeah, it kind of looked like he was stealing your brand a little bit there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's cool, it's cool. Um, I was only, Is it uh, cool? You all right with that? It's, I mean, you know, it's like, another, I've got my destiny, he's got his. Nothing moist, it's fine. I mean, he's not as moist as well, me. Well, I don't know, he looked pretty moist out there. No, yeah. he was, I mean, he was definitely he was, wet. He, he, was, he, was he was soggy, sure. He was a soggy sure. guy. It was a soggy, you know, okay, yeah, and then at I At the end of the day, if, if we both were to condensate, I would feel more of a cloud. I, I don't know, he was drenched. He was I he would. Was if dripping. I return to the water oh cycle, God. it you're would just, be okay. a torrential I, downpour. I ship, you're just being it's dripper drown out there, and I think he... All right, well let's let's go let's go here quick Listen. quick, and I, I want to just get up and immediately run out, and okay. I want to run back in. Forgot my pants. I want to come back in, put on my pants. All right, the second time, um, you would you would exit the door with your kind of hobbling one leg, uh, into the pants. Uh, you actually oh, are they still real? I I I had uh, can they be incinerated or no? Are they still? Well, Chip's pants wasn't tied to the thing. Damn. All right. Yeah. Fine. What a bummer. But they would have, I mean, they would have like some, sure. yeah, torn, some torn tears in there. Okay. Like uh, really but tired. as as you're exiting the door, you would feel yourself get shoved uh, in a direction. And then as you are, are almost knocked off balance, your shoulder is caught for a second by a hand. And uh, you're, you're held in place and you hear uh, in your ear and passing very quietly. It's Thieves Can't. You recognize. What you hear is, a good doctor can fix the deepest wounds. Which would mean... Translated, uh, to meet at the place of this establishment's local doctor. Okay. And you guys watch Chip is basically knocked over, uh, and as you guys, uh, uh, not knocked over, but, but not nudged and bumped into by this group, and as you, uh, all exit as well to find Chip, uh, and you guys are in this hallway again, you see in front of you, uh, the three, uh, including Marshall John, uh, Caspian, and, uh, Captain Lizzie walking ahead of you, not looking back or making any sudden movements. Just an intentional bump and whisper into your ear, Chip. So I think we need to just, we play it cool, they walk away, and we meet them later. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's going to be weird if we, like, stop them. Yeah. I wanna, they were really They, they just, were really they just cool. bumped into I, you, I man. Think we like, should also be cool. Maybe maybe we should, wait, they bumped into you. Should we, like, stand up to them? Like, we just no, beat no, them no, in no, ritual no, no, combat, just, basically. He's really moist. I don't... Don't worry about it. We're going to... Just come with me. Uh, I want to walk out. Not following them or anything, just... Go out. I want to head to the um, potion guy. Potion cellar. Okay. Potion Do you guys want to head anywhere uh, yourselves at all? I got nowhere to be right now. I got no. I got right. yeah. I got Just one thing. Along uh, with one cool. thing to do to, that I want to do, and I think we're gonna end up there. So. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, you guys give it give it a second to let them pass, uh, and a few other teams that you recognize as the small little gnomes also pass you and look up and uh, one of them looks at you Gillian and says good game and he's like scorched he's fucking like <laughs> like just burned <laughs> really really bad uh, they walk past you guys end up following hey, them you're behind. the real champion uh, as you're exiting you come back up that metal ramp that you descended uh, to get into the small hallway and there's that that same uh, uh, person that was handing out the bracelet saying better look next time Let it oh you three hold it I didn't take anything my, I hold my hands up like that, and like little bits of silver just no, kind of fall out no. of my. The bracelets. Let me see them. Uh, my hand yeah. I oh, hold my hand up. Yeah. Uh, he takes this uh, uh, sort of like metal, skinny metal rod and goes ding, ding, ding on all three of your wrists. And as he does, the color uh, 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 fades and or, or kind of melts into this gold color around your wrist instead of a silver. I leveled up. Well, this will make sure you can get back in here, all right? What's this thing worth? I bite it. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel heavy like real gold. It just feels um, like a normal chain. And when you bite it, it feels like biting a normal chain. Although the three mm -hmm. of you would be able to know that it's magical. All right, get out, get out. 
You enter right. the large Thanks. Coliseum, make your way down the main road, uh, and take a right, I believe, into the Forge Hood again. Yeah. Make your way yeah. to uh, Brax and Brady's I wanna wait, yeah, Calico I wait outside. I said, I would, it's just really quick. I wanted to wait outside just while the others are filing out and do like the, so like, you know, post soccer game, like good game. <laughs> good game. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just wait outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. High, high fiving everybody. Yeah, so it takes about, uh, 15 minutes or so of you standing outside of the Coliseum entrance and as the people the teams that were behind you are excellent kind of with their heads down some are like jolly about it doesn't even care that they lost they just had a good time and you're just like good game good game and they're all like some people reciprocate uh, uh other people like grab your forearm and shake it you know the the much bigger uh, boisterous guys are like yeah uh, and then they keep going um then eventually you guys make your way back to the calico mists uh where uh braxton is sitting or, or behind the counter, sort of fiddling with some of these potions. Oh, you made it back! My friend! Congratulations, yes. I heard that you won! Yes, we did. Champions, yeah. all of us. Killing as you enter, you hear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! We need to, if we want to still be champions, we gotta make it to, to see daylight tomorrow and reach the Dome of Destiny. I, I'll keep it, I'll hold it back for now, Chip. Do what you need to do. Oh, what back? Pretzel. Pretzel defense position. <laughs> Yo, that's a cat. Pretzel's got like two tentacles up, like <laughs> almost like a fisticuff <laughs> movement as she's circling them in front of her. The name of the beast does not Listen, matter. he's just gonna, you know, sometimes you have to learn by doing. Chip. <laughs> B-Man, you mind taking that, taking the cat away? My guy doesn't like him. Oh, Elky, that's so impolite. Come here. And he like grabs him up Do you uh, and starts, <laughs> are you threatening my cat? Is your cat threatening me? That's fair. Bad boy. And he just, uh, he just puts him into this like little box behind the counter. Uh, okay. Uh, a little bit muffled <clears throat> now. So, uh, I assume you're here to pick up that, um, Chip, you're looking at that, um, uh, yeah, that, Thing that we, you and me, we. Oh, Chip, ow. what are you, what are you planning oh. on doing with that thing? Don't worry about my plan. You saw how my oh, plan right, worked thing, in there. The thing. All right, all right, all right. The thing. The thing. He knows the yeah. thing. He's so does. worried about your plan. <laughs> uh, I've got it in the back. I will say I'm pretty proud of my work. I think you will find this quite useful. Not having to have somebody drink the potion for its effects, although it uh. The effects themselves might last a little less than longer. Um, just for the nature of the... Sorry, I couldn't Listen, keep B, everything don't the worry same. about it. I only need him for just a minute. Okay, well, he uh, runs uh, behind this like little curtain behind the... Uh, and, and basically walks into this small, him-sized cubby. Uh, and then comes out with this uh, glass bottle that has this little cap that seems to be pressable. And it's filled with the same uh, rose-ish... Uh, rose, rose pink liquid that was in the uh, filter of love potion. Beautiful. Your item. Pleasure doing business. Is there anything else that I can help the three of you prepare for maybe the final tournament? No, I'm broke. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah, me too. How much for the cat? <laughs> what? He, um, he's not for sale. Thank the gods. <laughs> Everything's for sale, sell, you know, okay, it just my, depends on the price. He's Listen. my business partner and my best friend. We, we might travel together. some gold soon. I, I can't sell them to you, I'm sorry. What about a rental? Ship, no monsters on the boat. <laughs> start, dragging <him laughs> out of the, start dragging him out of the shop. You are a freak. I'll get that cat! <laughs> As he drags me. Well, why do you want Have a good day! <laughs> <laughs> do not what? follow us, beast! He, you guys are, cats. Are, are dragged out. I don't out want of my own cat. I want that one. The door slams here. Ding, 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 as like a little chime has been placed now. Ooh. So where to? So where to? <laughs> you said so you said to I... follow you, Chip. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta go find a doctor. The doctor. That sounds like something that would be in the respite district. <laughs> to the respite little... district. I mean, you guys, you guys did see where the um, supposed. Uh, Braxton even talked about a, a uh, an apothecary that was in the rest mm -hmm. of the district, and you guys would have seen the sign, but didn't go near it or into it or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, as so, we're walking towards it, I'd just like to say to them, all right, when we get in there, don't look at anybody, no eye contact, mind your business, get a drink. No, not a drink. That's a, that's a bar. Never mind. A, uh, just 
Just mind your business. Don't look at anybody. <laughs> we'll see how good the water is first. Are we gonna pass by any, uh, if we pass by any, like, general stores, I wanna run in super quick. Wait, hold on, do I have any fucking money? God damn it. Shit, I don't <laughs> think I do. God damn it, fuck! I just wanna get pretzel a treat! God shit! Um, I'll get pretzel a treat, I'll buy one. The the up, up on the on the second floor mm. basically you walk up this like this uh, ramp of wooden steps um, that leads up to the second uh, I guess platform of the forge mm. there was that general store called Too Cool for School. I wanna I wanna like be walking by actually and if there's maybe like somebody holding something out I could just quickly snatch it from them as we're walking without stopping and they just kind of go hey and I flick a gold coin back at them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, one, side of hand one treat, one sure. treat, please, for pretzel. Um, that's a twelve. Yeah, easy enough on a commoner person who yeah. is uh, from the and audience. I'll, and I'll take the, I'll take the little, little treat, and I'll hand it to pretzel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, pretzel uh, would be a little nervous at first, looking at you trying to give her some strange food that isn't from Gillian. Uh, and she was also present during your guys' battle, so she has a little bit of disdain towards you, Chip. Um, why? She's just seeing. But she me takes use it. pants to win. <laughs> she takes. Uh, she she uh, basically in this this moment forgives you for past mistakes and then uh, uh, takes the the treat and wow. enjoys it thoroughly. <laughs> what she was character about development? Pretzel. <laughs> Pretzels had more character development than any of us. Oh, you did it, Pretzel. <laughs> Make your way back to the rest of the district, uh, mm -hmm. and you come to a a a a, uh, a home and a building. It looks like a mixture of both. Uh, it looks like a like a uh, uh, almost like a, like a townhouse um, of this this uh, rectangular, a little bit larger wooden building. Uh, it is the door is completely open. You can walk in free. It doesn't look like there's uh, you have to ask or anything. You make your way inside, and uh, around you you see multiple beds spaced out. On this uh, first uh, interior, on the on these uh, wooden floors, and on the walls, there's shelves of different herbs and bandages, um, uh, not even uh, spaced correctly. Some are, are high up, some are, are right below, a little off, centered. Uh, it looks very um, rushed, put together, and just kind of slapped everywhere, so that it's easy reach depending on who's in uh, in what bed and and how high the bed is, and etc. And around. Gee is definitely making eye contact and, and eavesdropping everywhere. Mm. I want to like nudge her yeah. <laughs> as we walk in. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there, it's, 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 it's not, uh, there's only maybe a few conversations that the people are awake, but you do see there are multiple um, figures in, in some of the beds who are kind of like sleeping bandaged up. Uh, there does seem to be, there, there seems to be one prominent, uh, very tall, uh, male humanoid, uh, who is who is is kind of walking from from bed to bed and then giving people uh, certain items, and he hears and notices you guys walk in. May I help you? This character is very tall, much taller than all three of you. Uh, as he says that, you can see that he is um, has longer pointed facial features. He wears a open framed silver glasses and two silver chains that dangle behind his neck, behind this uh, very long silver hair that's a little uh, unkempt, kind of wavy, not exactly like brushed or, or straight. Uh, he wears uh, this deep maroon linen blazer buttoned at the waist uh, with form-fitting khaki colored trousers that end in this white cuff at the bottom with two brown leather dress shoes. He looks um, mildly well-dressed, but not like extremely like fancy or anything out there. It's, it's very, very neutral. He looks handsome to uh, the three of you, I would assume, but he also looks tired. Mm. So what can I do for you? Uh, hello. Uh, name's Chip, uh, Captain of the Millennium Chipper. Um, you Albatross. Know, Albatross. <laughs> anyway. You know, a good doctor can fix the deepest wounds, and I guess we're looking for the uh, good doctor. Shake his hand. Uh, right then. <sighs> it takes it like a very deep sigh. <laughs> Follow me to the back. Uh, actually, one second, if you can be patient on me. And he walks over to, uh... <laughs> I don't think um, I want to be a patient here. Not that kind of patient. Okay. Yeah, he walks <laughs> over to someone who, who is lying 
uh, in the bed and pulls one of these these red vials um, out of his his, uh, his his pocket, opens their chin very gently and carefully just kind of trickles it into their their mouth and then uh, lets them uh, basically involuntary swallow. <sighs> All right, this way. Uh, and he uh, yeah he leads you guys to uh, this um. Uh, uh, a, a back room that is uh, sort of in the back corner of this house that leads into a, a room full of uh, this this large rectangular table that has different herbs that are chopped up and, and scattered around multiple bottles and, and, and beakers that are bubbling. Uh, it, it's not uh, it's similar to what alchemy would look like in Braxton shop, but it's it's definitely for a much different purpose and it smells of a of a very uh, herby aroma. And then just in this left corner of this room, past the table, sort of kind of hidden, uh, is this large wooden hatch, and he uh, lifts it open, and there are stairs that lead down. I assume you're friends of the captain. Please do, um, be quiet as you can. Always. Respectful for the people laying here. Yeah, so this is really fucking weird. Changes. We'll be fine. Stay I have people I trust, and so I keep them safe when they're here. Call it a favor for friends. We'll be respectful of this space. I move down. Okay. I I nod. Yes, well, I will not I speak follow. because I am physically incapable of whispering. <laughs> I go down. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, you guys take down um, these these very rickety wooden steps. You can hear them kind of uh, move and increase as your feet hit. I would and like to try and keep quiet, even just going down like stealth, even. Sure. Yeah, you can roll stealth. Sure. If all are the other two of you trying to be stealth as well? D no. Yeah, it does, I, it does I, tell them, I tell them to let me go ahead first. That's a seventeen. Okay. So do you guys let chip? Uh, sure. Kind of, I guess, yeah. scout essentially. So why not? Not by a uh, lot, chip, but yeah. No, not sure. by a lot. Just just enough to where I could probably get in there without being. Sure. Yeah. I'll say you get down to uh, the the railing, uh, where you can see into this this bottom basement interior uh, below this this house. And um, uh, nobody has taken sight of you yet, but you would notice uh, uh, in this area there is a, it, it's uh, it's kind of cozy. There's, there's torches on these dirt. And, and rock walls um, or a rock that's kind of covered in dirt uh, nothing that's put up to like make it look uh, pretty uh, other than just the wooden panels on the floor and you see that there is a uh, a few booths on the walls uh, kind of spaced out there's a small bar uh, and you notice that there is a uh, <laughs> a very injured uh, blue Caspian <laughs> behind <laughs> it and one big circular table in the middle of this room uh, and you can see uh, Marshall John and Elizabeth talking. Um, is there something I could just kind of like pick up and, and mess with anything just like laying around? Um, maybe like a, like a, a something ornate sitting around I could just pick up um, and be fiddling with? Yeah, I mean, you have the two coins in your pocket, uh, the magical cat coin and the coin you got from Arlen. But if you wanted something from around, there might be like a... Uh, I see there's like rocks and and, and and maybe sticks from the yeah sure I would pretty, I would pretty much just there. grab something from from around the room sure and, and kind of walk in make myself known so Captain okay. Lizzie the Granberry Pirates huh finally you made it here and took you long enough Chip! shut shut quiet oh. please <laughs> Jillian! <laughs> And she like fucking puts her her hand on her on her face and just kind of sighs. <gasps> Caspian. Ah. <laughs> so we have new friends. Lovely. Yeah. These are. Uh, yeah. Hi. These are my friends. Oh. Jay's she, eyes uh, kind of squint a little bit after hearing her voice. <laughs> so. Uh, she uh, as soon as you guys both come down the steps, how actually, uh, Captain Lizzie would lock eyes with Jay, um, and Caspian <laughs> would say, well. Friends and it did quite a number on me, <clears throat> and he's like, uh, just below this uh, now open uh, blue vest that shows <clears throat> bandages just, just covering mm -hmm. his torso, wanna, and you can also see him. these like black wavy tattoos <laughs> that go up the arms and across the chest. 
that's awesome. I want to walk by him and I just want to like kneel down real quick. No hard feelings, right, buddy? Like tap him on the like on his chest. <laughs> oh my god, oh. you're a dick. <laughs> I want to kind of run over, sit down at the bar, and just kind of grab a, a glass that's maybe sitting out. Um, sit back, look over at Lizzie. Long way from uh, eating hot dogs. Is that his only memory of her? <laughs> Very fucking piratey of you to walk over and disrespect one of my crew members. Are it's you all right, Caspian? Yeah, it's just a little bit of pain. That's all. <laughs> Here, it's no, it's no orange juice, but I, I wanna. I'll, I'll, I'll give him my health potion. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> so, um. I am glad to see you all again! Marshal John uh, yells out. Um, and uh, Caspian takes this uh, clearly uh, a lesser health potion. Much appreciated. It feels like it's been yeah. so long, but it's only been like a day. Well, I found the place where I want to belong. Happily. Oh. A part of the team. I hope that no disrespect what to about our lives. John, you did you did wonderfully out there. Sorry about the pants thing. Yeah, that uh, that strange fellow with a funny way of saying words. I couldn't hear yeah, him. You just you just grabbed him. You just grabbed him for <laughs> like a good two minutes. It, but it I was, was getting impressive. really f frustrated because like I can I can always hit. I know. If Eventually, he, he also, if it makes you feel better, he was also clearly very upset about it. <laughs> well, you seem to be there with purpose. Nah, what do I fucking care? And he just like <laughs> sits down and puts his legs up on the table. So what brings you all here? And then Elizabeth pipes up. Mr. John here has uh, filled me in on where you two have come from. And tried to convince me that this woman isn't part of the Navy. So Jay? Far from, far from it. Though I'm no, still having a hard time believing, so I guess the first question I have is, how do you trust her? Well, hang like, on, how do hang I on, trust on. you? You trust me because you know me, for one, and- I don't know you. If John's filled me in, filled you in, then it's time for you to fill me in. How are you alive? I think that is- Less important than me not... <sighs> I wish I could make threats, but we are kind of beaten up. Look, Jay's not gonna hurt anybody. She's not here How for the know? Navy. Cause she's with me. And I've been with and, him and since I'm, the start. And I'm definitely not Navy. Why can't you defend yourself? You haven't given me a single good reason why you wouldn't be with the Navy. I don't want to be with the Navy because I'd rather be free. I don't, I don't want to live by their strict and just rigid structure. I don't want to live like that. I want to sail the sea, see the world. <laughs> and is that not good enough of a real a reason? Me to believe that you've run away from your family's line? Is it that <laughs> yeah. hard to believe? You trust have you, seen, have you seen how the Farons operate? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check, Jack, with advantage. Oh, that's not a good one. Uh, 16. Thank God for advantage. Listen, I'm oh. here now, so you're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> I'm not Navy. I never was. I'll choose to believe that much for now. What are you Jay, all doing even here? Even if you are <laughs> Navy, you're still my friend. Well, no, guilt. Maybe. Maybe that's, not that right now. That's great, but I'm not Navy, so I mean, and you're still my friend, so. The Navy <laughs> is not friends. <laughs> Why would you, why would a Navy be undercover on a ship like chips? <laughs> hey. I didn't no, know you just, were it's on just a, It's just a funny. Chips? Ship? You have Millennium a ship chip. The, the, the albatross, albatross, albatross we've agreed is what it's called. Majority rule, it's like the They think it's called the albatross. Times. It's Millennium Chipper. Ah. Uh. So, in that case, you've already formed a crew. Um, kinda. Under oath? Uh, oath? Is there an oath? We have to take a <laughs> We're kinda new. I mean, this is a new crew, we haven't really... 
Chip doesn't really know what he's doing, and you know, I what? no, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I do. What's, I do. what's the just... pirate code, Chip? Don't be. What the fuck have you been doing for the last <laughs> ten years? Surviving, Five years? Lizzie. What have you been doing? I, you still haven't told me how you're alive. There was no one left on that ship. I'd prefer to get to that another time. Maybe just you and me. Right now, there's something really important. <sighs> and a reason why we're here. And the reason why I, uh, so defensive over seeing a, a Farron. Not too long ago, I witnessed the Navy raid Outlaw Soil. And if you don't know what Outlaw Soil is, being so new to this whole pirating thing, it's safe haven, sanctuaries for pirates. Our turf. Places we control. I mean, technically, they raided it. technically, it doesn't mean they can't go there. It's just like they're dissuaded to go Jay, there. Just... <laughs> okay. I, I, I Stop. They... Okay. <laughs> Navy's been moving in all over. They were in a town just, just a ways back. That's exactly my point. They've been making more aggressive moves. Something's changed. The whole world seems to be changing, and it's not just the Navy. Uh, there's so much to explain. I don't even know where to fucking start. Um, Caspian uh, pours himself a drink and then pours a few more. Would anybody like some um, refreshments? I'll just hold out the cup yeah. that I stole. I'll, I'll throw out the liquid I had in the cup I stole, but and then <laughs> hold it forward. <laughs> He's basically just pouring like some drinks to, to lighten Caspian, up. Caspian, I know you're a man that knows good water. Hook me up. Well, water here is... Good, far and few between, but he uh, pulls out a, a glass, pours some water in there, and then with... And then he waves his hand over it, the water bubbles for a second, and then it stops. And then he, with his other hand, the glass frosts a little bit. So it's almost as if he reset uh, and made it into uh, fine water, and then chilled it himself. Oh my god. It oh my him. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A pirate crew under no oath. It's a lot of trust. I saw the fucking navy come on to the outlaws. They raided our soil. They killed... They killed some of their own. But not before killing... One of the most powerful pirates. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. That's the... That's the alarm. You know what time it is. It's time for the Just Roll With It mid-roll! Oh. Yes, it's time to take a break from the podcast so I can tell you about all the cool things that we've got going on otherwise. And you know me, it's busily, you know what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you to go watch Just Roll With It Prime Defenders on patreon.com slash just roll with it. Guys, we got episodes coming out every week, two hours of content every week. It's the same as the main campaign. So if you want more, just roll with it. There is no reason you shouldn't be over there. And hey, we got a Just Roll What If coming out very soon where we explore whether the what, what it would be like if the Prime Defenders were in the Riptide universe. So it's a lot of fun. Make sure you go and check those things out. Um, you know, we got all that other stuff too. Check out our social medias, Twitter, uh, Twitch, all, all that good stuff. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on iTunes, give us a rating. We always appreciate that. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you too long. Enjoy the rest of the episode. One of the pirate lords, you know? Pirate lords. I know all no, I'm Nothing, not no, rec what? no recognition, not no, a single clue. Them. You don't I know, know. I know of them. I don't <laughs> know their names. We're getting there. We're getting there. Jay, roll a history check. <laughs> <laughs> I this see Chip, you can roll intense. history as well. Okay. Uh, take 20, a sip of water natural. and have a Ratatouille flashback. <laughs> Gillian would have no idea. Yeah. yeah, totally. What was your uh, 14? I got a 20. NJ? Not natural. Okay. So, Chip, um, you would have heard of them from stories from Arlen. Uh, and, and maybe a few times you would remember um, the, the captain talking about it on the ship of the Black Rose Pirates. But when you were separated, there wasn't a whole lot of pirate learning as you were just trying mm -hmm. to survive. Jay, with your knowledge... Um, I know everything. You, <laughs> <laughs> you would know that there were uh, four pirate lords said to be uh, the most basically the way that it works is the navy has four uh top admirals that do most of the uh organization and decision making and uh the pirates to balance this power also had of the four powerful the most powerful 
essentially. That's cool. However, a few years ago, two of them went missing. Now three are dead. And one hasn't been found for maybe 50 years. So what, you're, you're here to find him? No. No. I came here because I wanted to find strong pirates. Strong fighters. And I want to take the fight to the fucking Navy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... We're not picking a fight with the Navy. <sighs> These Navy guys seem pretty evil. <laughs> it, it, it's like a moral... Well, well, listen. <laughs> not all of us are real like <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I wait a minute. Say, Actually, why no. do you struggle so much with trusting me when Admiral John's right there? <laughs> John's great. I yeah, had John's to do great. my own. Hey, hey. I had to prove myself when I got here and I met the captain. Okay. That's fair. I just kind of... <laughs> Plus, I'm giving her the Navy ship. Wait. Have you seen... Holly? Yeah, I actually asked about that earlier. What's going to happen with him now that I'm you're... I'm sure Ollie's fine. He's with he's with John. Or not John. Jeez. Uh, he uh, kind of hold himself on the name. ship. Hang on. What's his name? Earl. Earl. Oh, man, Earl. Name? Earl. He's with Earl. Yeah. He's literally our juice maker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I remembered. Eventually. <laughs> Look, we're not fighting the Navy, okay? That's it's a little above our pay grade. I've watched them do horrifying things. I think they're trying to overreach. Yeah, well, a lot I of think people with do this... a lot of horrifying things. <laughs> this is... I'm talking about fucking war, Chip. And what, you want us to help you? Well, I was going to ask if I could trust you all, and if you didn't have other plans, maybe yes. you would want to join my crew. Set down the drink. But it seems you have your own thing going, Chip. And out of respect, I'm not going to step. You can't just we... ask us to join your fucking crusade and not even tell me how you're alive. Well, that's what I've been doing since I got here. Wait, so... <laughs> that's why I was so scared when I thought the Navy was here. I thought they knew. I thought they had caught on. They were coming to scout. Why do you care? What does it matter? You mean, what does it matter? If the Navy has all the control over the world. No, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing now if the Navy had control ship. <laughs> there, there would needs... be no more life of a pirate. No more pirate code. No more treasure or freedom. Okay, so Those we're supposed to stop the Navy. could do whatever Navy. they want. I'm not asking you to do anything. But you I'm are. just telling you what I'm doing. Well, I was, but I'm not going to force you. You have a good plan. I mean... No, you couldn't force us. Not how this works. Chip, we can't let a force like that take over the seas. It's not just the seas. She looks over at Caspian. Uh, where are you from, Gillian? <sighs> you know that... The seas, I mean my home, I've been... I actually mistook you for, for one of mine at first. I know that. I just mean which part? The trench. The capital. I understand. My people, my tribe are not from. Where the four elders reign. From much farther away, sort of in the actual outskirts of the undersea. Born and lived by the tides as they carry us. Where, the, where it goes. <laughs> Uh, he takes a drink. <laughs> they know of our home. And if they're doing this reaching into the pirate world, they're really trying to set or control the power. Expand that power. They'll go to the Undersea too. That's exactly what I figured, Caspian. Any man with that much power, any army, if they are truly chasing this expansion stretching themselves this thin what's to stop them from reaching down below as well i agree so by all means chip jay i believe it is in our best interest to assist how are you planning on going against the navy the four top admirals 
are still well, alive I and well. I'll, I should swim up to them and hit them really hard. That's not going to be that easy. I don't know. You've I don't know. Seen... I just can't sit by and let them just do whatever the hell they want. Not after all the shit that they've done so far. I know it wasn't like this. Something has definitely gone wrong. I guess the people in power just get corrupted by it. I don't know. If I don't try my best to put an army together, or some kind of fleet, nobody's gonna do anything. You guys clearly are the better team. You're strong, I know that for sure, but... When the time comes, and we make our move, I just wanted to know if we can have your assistance. That's all. At least a minimum. No. Um, hey team, huddle up. <laughs> no, no, we're not huddling up, okay? I pulled Jay out of there to keep her from going to war. I took you onto the ship to keep you safe, and I'm not gonna put you in the middle of a war! No, we're not doing it. Fight it yourself. Zoom. Good luck. Walk out. I, I look over. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And I follow um, Chip. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> she, uh, she literally just says, cool. She sits down and uh, she puts her hands on her, on her, on her temples. You watch Gillian. I'm going to stay. I'll stay. Um, well, that went well. <laughs> Yeah, um... Hey, you know, has, Chip's Chip like that. He has a tendency. I I do think, though, that, that we can make him see the truth of this. The real danger here. I'd like to talk to Chip for a bit as, after we yeah. get outside the doctor's office, by the way. You know, I think Gillian, you can. I know we all don't know each other that well, but... This war is going to happen whether you're there for it or not, and I don't blame, I don't blame that kid for wanting to stay out of it. Seems like he's suffered a lot of hardship growing up, I can tell from his eyes, but if we could have you, you're afraid to join? <laughs> Caspian, if... If my, if our home is truly under threat of attack, it is, it is my duty and my pleasure to defend it. What? I think that, I think that we both have things we could learn from each other. We Speaking got the flag with pants, sure, but <laughs> <laughs> some of the things you did back there. Speaking of, you'd make an interesting point. Why aren't you home? Um, there aren't many of you, kind. There I've aren't noticed. many of mine either, but... Um, I'm, I'm trying to find a way back. Uh, there was some sort of mistake. I hope it hasn't changed much while you've been gone. Things seem to be moving quickly. Maybe we'll return quickly if you can too. I'm Just try my best course. With this war effort, though, I am bound to those two, Chip and Jay, but anything I can do to help, I will. Fair enough. Free to stay for a drink? I am. Hey, uh, uh, what was the undersea drink? <laughs> What'd you say? What's the undersea drink? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah can you yeah, have yeah, a floater? Yeah, yeah. We made it in the one shot. We made it in the one Let's shot. Let's go easy, though. Let's squirties. go easy. It's a victory drink. Squeeze? squeeze. It's a squirty. Squirty. Oh, oh my God! It is a squirty. He, he makes two squirties. <laughs> Caspian, squirties on me. <laughs> I, I have no money, so actually, um. <laughs> <laughs> he's able to make. You guys can make them together. Um. Uh, and I would say squirties. that we can. Uh, Unless there's anything else you want to say. We can swing, scene switch here. We can get some of these squirties, and, and maybe later you can show me how you did those splashies and freezies back there. Oh. Curious. Sure. I'll give you a look. You never taught me anything like that. Thank you. And it is nice to meet all of you. At least one of them is reasonable. Uh, Elizabeth said. <laughs> oh, he'll come around. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
maybe maybe he he's <laughs> chip <laughs> 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 All right, uh, you guys, you guys walk through um, past the uh, uh, apothecary who's still working. Uh, everything all right? He says as you guys uh, are, are kind of storming out, or fa fast walking out of the. Uh, I'm more like concernedly following behind him as he stops or stomps by, you know, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't say much. I just kind of pat him on the shoulder as I'm walking by. Okay. And say, all good. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I all right, to, you like, guys walk outside now. Yeah, yeah. Fast walk to catch it. Chip, you know, Chip, come on. Jay, we're not doing it. I know. I mean, I'm not saying we have to, but like, are you sure you don't want to... This lifestyle is all you've ever known. If if the Navy's really doing what they want, then... Okay, so we win the tournament, get enough money, get out of here. Okay. Find a space away from it all. And that's the end of it? I mean, like... Sure, why not? End of day, I, I, I can't participate in something. I can't hurt my family. <laughs> but... I know you can't. You... Are you sure? Yeah. I'm very sure. And Captain Lizzie down there doesn't seem to want to. Well, I mean, what the fuck's going on? So you know, I I don't I just no, don't think she not. wanted an audience to be fair. But I mean, <sighs> listen, I'm not gonna argue with you on this because honestly, I think going to war with the Navy is a really stupid idea. They there are some gr crazy people there. <laughs> My father being. One of them, kind of. He's not a top admiral or anything, but God, he's scary. <laughs> you know Gil, he's gonna want to go. Well, Gil's gonna want to go for sure, because the undersea, they said that it was being threatened as well. You know, maybe Gil's supposed to go. <laughs> you know, he is the one after all, right? Uh, but not us, know. you know, I'm... Well... Just a kid. You're just... Well, you... You're not really a kid anymore, and I'm okay. Well, I'm more than just me. Thank you. I'm pretty awesome. I I actually kicked that guy's ass. Thank you. But you know what I meant. <laughs> an old We're not lady. Going to war. I, I was an old lady, for God's sake. That was uh, God. I am an awesome old lady when I have to be. <laughs> okay, stop stroking your ego for a second. End of day. We're not doing this, but I don't know if we can stop Gil. And I. Guess we just let him go? I don't know. Let's just win this tournament. Is that the plan? Are we going yeah. are we gonna win it or are we gonna throw it? <laughs> oh shit. Um I don't think Gil's gonna wanna throw. I mean we could throw and then I guess the rest is up to destiny. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> It's the Dome of Destiny, it's, you know... Where are you guys going? Do you return back? Um, down? No, I don't go back down. I don't go back down go? either. I'm Probably. gonna go back to the place we were staying. Hotel room. The sprawled brawlers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, it would be about... I'd say it's getting closer to evening now. Um, tournament took a long time. Maybe not and technical D and D terms, but I'm saying it took a long time. So it took a long time. Uh, you guys head back, um, going to separate rooms or in the same room, still hanging out. Um, probably I'd get a big bottle of alcohol and I would hang out with Jay and, and pass it back and forth and just bullshit. Just like in the, in the dining area kind of deal. Well, I'd probably maybe go up to a room and just, we're just bullshitting. Sure. Passing. Yeah. Uh, a nice bonding experience. Gillian, you are still uh, underneath. Yeah, I'm being uh, recruited for a war effort. <laughs> Glad someone's having <laughs> fun here. Um, it's more like drinking the pain away. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, you are you have uh, to toss back some squirties with, with Caspian. Um, pretzel, none for you. Stay away. <laughs> A pretzel is just kind of like reaching up and down. You did really good, but water. not good enough to become an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Stay down there. Um, what would you like to do? Just, here's another treat. What I like to do? Yeah. Um. Uh. I. I honestly. Um. 
you know, the only thing I really want to do is... Uh, nothing is... else you... Yeah, yeah, before that, nothing else you wanted to say to, like, anyone else in the room? I don't think so. I mean, I mean... Um, okay. Yeah, I think I told them pretty much everything. Um, well, actually, um, if <laughs> somehow, by destiny, by fate, <sighs> or any of the other things, I managed to convince those two to join your work, I, uh... where can we find you? I'm st still in the planning phase. Um... Oh, well, so what's the plan uh, so far? You can still contact me, can't you? <clears throat> oh, that's very true. So <laughs> keep, keep forgetting that I have this. When the time comes, I, uh, I'll hit you up. Let you know what's going on. When that's we get perfect. there. I, I really perfect. do appreciate you guys helping myself get here safely. I, uh, just... Gotta worry about that little Ollie. I hope you take care of him for me. Maybe get him home. <laughs> so, do you remember where you and I know abducted is a strong word, but do you remember where you abducted Ollie from? <laughs> well, it was where I was stationed, on Canella. And I didn't abduct him, he was on the ship when I left. And I was in a hurry, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was so in a hurry, just, so I just didn't turn you around. Just, you just never turned around for, you know. Well, adventure's good for the growing, growing boy. Got a strong bones. Helps some yeah, perspective. Sure. You feel mar it gets a little marrow in your bones to go out adventuring. Yeah, but yeah, he's probably been away for too long. I feel kind of <laughs> well. It's, a, yeah. it's about southwest from here. Bit of travel now, but... Can, that's where we met you, right, Canella? Yeah. Okay, we can head back there. See how they're doing. Pop in. Meet Ollie's family. <laughs> we would be honored to accept this, to get him back home. That would be the last favor I could ever ask. He puts his hand right on the side of your shoulder. Gotta take care of this crew. You guys are hey. pretty special. Done some cool shit. I've seen it. Not everybody can. Best <laughs> Captain Lizzie, she goes, they did not beat me. Well, I mean, by the rules. <laughs> it was a fucking flag game. <laughs> uh, if you um go back to Chip, I would like to talk to him. Alone. I think that would be good. Uh, John, even though we're great out there putting flags around, hitting people, there's still a lot of things we need to figure out. Like, what is a what is a pirate oath? I'm already under a bunch of oaths. Ah, uh, well, when a pirate crew <laughs> is officially formed underneath the pirate code established by the four, and he, he like winces at, at, at Captain uh, uh, Lizzie, who's like nodding him down, uh, the four... Pirate lords created. Um, you seal the crew under an Go oath of allegiance pants. or a vow of aligned affairs and devotion to one another and to one another's goals. I see. <laughs> Gillian's actually just like fucking writing all this down. He's like, yeah. It's just something you swear to each other that means something to each of you. It's different for every pirate crew. You, um, well, different. as long as you know what each other wants, and then swear to accomplish it together, that's what we did. I think maybe Chip J and I, Gillian Tidestrider, need something like that. Be careful out there. One day your crew member is with you. The next day they're slain. Marshall Down is a really good, I guess, replacement, to put it bluntly. I will make sure nothing like that ever befalls Chip or Jay. <sighs> you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? <laughs> it is because your it is my <laughs> destiny. That's right, John. You got it. Yeah. And he like he grabs yes! your forearm. You guys give a shake, and it fucking reverberates out the room when you leave. So, Catch Elizabeth, me and take me outside. I want to free some shit. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> cool, that's where I want to end up. While Lizzie is just crying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> she was basically like, like when you know how you put your hands, your head on your 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 arms on your desk, and you're yeah, trying to like yeah. sleep in class. She would do that, except very aggressively. Um, I would say you can you can go outside uh, with Caspian. Um, this. You want to do it tonight? Before the grand finals, or dude, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Sure. Uh, Listen, we've got a couple splashies back. Like <laughs> tonight's the night, bro. Sure. Yeah, you guys uh, uh walk up the steps uh and you pass and uh uh you hear Caspian say, "Excuse me, Rudith," and he says that to uh the tall elven man, um, taking care of people who is now uh walking over to like a little stool and just kind of like sits back. He's like got sweat pouring from his brows. He's just been t exhausted taking care of people. Uh. And then you guys, you, you walk out, and just behind this this uh, this building, uh, he pulls out a book from a, a pocket book. inside of this vest. I've uh, found a lot of spells, so I don't know all of them. From this uh, book here called Tip of the Iceberg. Tip of the... Oh, that's good. That's good. And he opens well, the book I, inside. um... You know, I've, I've never really read about him so much as they just sort of, you know, just kind of come to me a little bit. I'm like, bam, a little water here, bam, a little ice there. You can, you gotta, like, read about, like, study them. Natural talent for the arcane is certainly admirable. I'm sure if you read uh, in our show, then perhaps you could duplicate. Yeah, Not I'm duplicated. a... Yeah, uh, totally. I'll pick it up. Um... <laughs> So, um, Good. this isn't bringing back any any memories whatsoever. <laughs> just, just get right in. Uh, okay, he, for first try is the charm. It's my destiny. <laughs> he shows you a second level spell uh, called Freeze, which he used on you uh, during the the battle. Um, okay. He also shows a how uh, how what's your max level spell slot? At the moment, uh, second. I have two second level and four four level one spells. I have a third I level spell, but it's Wall of Water for like my my. Gotcha, gotcha, thing. gotcha. Mm -hmm. He also shows um a, a another spell which is very similar to what you already have, which is a, a spell called Frigid Strike, which is where your weapon does cold damage. Um, Ooh, cool. uh, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, uh, and your weapon like rhymes over with frost. Uh, but their speed is also reduced. Um, there is uh, also... Oh, I never actually thought about putting the ice on them. I just sort of hit them with it. That's a good idea. <laughs> he shows uh, an actual iceberg spell that he's been trying to uh, uh, gain control over. But it's just, it's kind of a, like very, very medium sized, small mountain of ice uh, in the water and, and in the distance. Uh, <laughs> Bro, he, we've got kind of a buzz going. <laughs> yeah, I like stand in a puddle. I'm like, all right, hit me. <laughs> Come on, iceberg. You got this. Feel it? You want to feel it in your chest? Got to breathe it in. <laughs> No, it's uh, look. I can, I can, I can get it. It's just you gotta give me one second, and then um, no. Nope. Right. I'm right here. I'm right here. Go on. <laughs> you can wave it around a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he also shows you a a, a paladin smite spell uh, called Full Menace Spite Smite, which uh, does lightning damage and causes the target to glow faintly. And you can also have a you can also use a bonus action on the turn to dismiss the spell, which causes a bolt of lightning to strike the target. You could also do this um, as ice as well. Okay, sure, that's how it reads. But what does it what does it feel like, Caspian? Here, I'm just <laughs> just hit me with it. <laughs> I don't know how to smite somebody. I'm not really a man of the gods, I should say, or any kind of oath to Dude, a blade. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> give, me, give me my sword. <laughs> you just kind of want to feel. You want to feel destiny, like in your heart and your soul, and then let it kind of come out through you. Um, you know, let the uh, let let yourself embody uh, your own direction in life, <laughs> as the prophecy dictates. It's it's. See, you'll get a feel for it. Just go ahead. It's you know. All right. Right. Okay. So yeah, you um, got it. You got it. Uh, I can I can do something like Find, that. Yeah, it's just sort of a divine radiance you can just reach inside yourself, and it's it's in it's definitely in there. He uh, puts his hand on his on his chest, and then he 
puts both all five fingers on Ryonchai's. Is this how it feels like? And then he uh, casts a, a, a pressure uh, of water that uh, rubs from his <laughs> fingertips onto you. Um, <laughs> that you would get pushed back uh, quite a bit, uh, about 10 feet and knocked over prone, <laughs> but you wouldn't take any damage. It's just the flavor. And uh, you guys would go over uh, a few uh, more spells uh, and decide on, on which ones that Gillian wants to do practice. it again! <laughs> Practice the most. <laughs> um, Dude, uh, drunk spellcasting is such a fucking funny thing. Like, just imagine going outside with your friends, just literally shooting the shit, but it's like fireball. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Um, this is the JM. first time Gillian has canonically drank <laughs> ever. Yeah, uh, by this time, it is it is nightfall. Uh, Jay and, and Chip, you guys are, are still within the, uh, the the quarters. Probably bottle pretty much empty at this point. No, 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 Jay, check it out. I, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Watch. watch, 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 watch. Okay. I, all right. Handstand on three. Okay. One, two, <laughs> three. That was that was really good, Chip. I'm normally better at it, but I just can't fit my legs. Chip. Oh. Oh. I don't want to lose Gillian to a war. Gillian's a little <laughs> sissy baby. <laughs> I mean, I am Gillian Tide Strider. <laughs> Hero of a under sea. It is my destiny. Champion of beneath. It is I, Gillian Tide Strider. It is I, Gillian Tide Strider. Chris, can I walk in during this? <laughs> you absolutely can. <laughs> Destiny! What's going on? It is my destiny! I'm Gillian Strider! No, I'm Gillian Strider! No, it is my destiny! No, it's my destiny! Ah, it's me! I got the prophecy Gillian. of born in the call and not of a storm I go up to my grab his, his collar. <laughs> no, I don't want to lose you to the war! <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> it's my destiny, Jay. I gotta do it. I have to fight. Why can't your destiny be something God. different? Like why can't you have destiny? This like, the whole point. We go. We go. Get kebabs. Why that's not destiny? That could be a very short-term destiny, sure, but long-term destiny. I've got a whole prophecy thing. Are I you leaving your crew? Why no, are you doing I'm not that? Leaving. You two hoisted me out of the sea. I would never leave you. I just, I need to fight in this. And if you two were, th you don't. Uh, yeah, I no. do. I do. I can't lose my home to the navy. Stop just being a baby. Bunch of, bunch of dudes with evil in their Stop. hearts. Over He's not even that evil. I don't it's think. Expanding all around. Just expansion. Why don't you just be sustainable? Happy with what you have. Part of the life cycle. <laughs> Most people view the Navy My as gosh. a force of good. Go you. Up with you. You go, humans, go, I swear. Go, go, go. go. Like, get always over to him. Taking, I'm like man, holding always on to taking. him. Go, 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 go. You know them how long? Five? Eight minutes? We're just talking about. <clears throat> The guys, guys, guy, below, you know. Have you seen Caspian? Have you seen him? Wet guy. He's constantly guy. sogging his He's very his wet. wet. He's very wet. Uh, trust him. I trust him. Like, I'm like, I'm like, so why you trust him? Wet guy. From wet the guy. Chip, chip, I'm like slapping chip. him. Wet guy. He's I get it. I get it. I get wet it. guy. But taught but, me stuff. He taught okay? me something. You know me? How long? <sighs> Longer. Longer. Okay. So we had a whole duel, though. Okay, I don't, I don't ask you join to join the war. They asked. They asked. Told you me to join bugs the war. were evil. Asked me to join a war. I gotta fight in a war if it's against my people. It's not against your people. If you asked me to that. join a war. I join a war. He just said, "Okay, you know me. You don't know them. Well, I fly, but they lie. What, they, hmm? what do you mean they lie? That's They're bad." Probably, Guild, Guild, or, Guild, Guild, they're pirates. Hold, they're pirates. I'm hold him by his face. Who do you think I? Who do you think I? Chip? Most people lie. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't lie. Mm -hmm. Jay doesn't lie. The yes. nice old lady Jay earlier lied. didn't lie. She didn't she lie too. Let me let you know. Let me let you know. Guild, I fall like backwards and I grab the wig. Guild, 
Everybody lie. Watch this. <laughs> I, put, I, put the, I put the wig on Jay's head and make her look like the old lady again for a second. See? Yeah, old lady was I was dead. the old lady. I take it off again. What? I put it on again. I take it off again. I didn't lie to you though. You just didn't realize it was me the entire time. Oh my god! I can't believe this. I want to fall. I want to fall <laughs> forward, uh, like, uh, and on my way down, accidentally cast the free spell on Jay. So we both just <laughs> bonk. <laughs> okay, Jay, make a Constitution saving throw. With the advantage, I'm gonna say, just because oh, that's funny. Dad, are you alive? Absolutely. Four, Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> 14, what's your 14 spell doesn't save? 14 yeah. doesn't save. <laughs> okay. You are paralyzed. Oh. Right. And at this point, as a... Uh, what's up, Chip? I wanted to... I actually wanted to do something. What's up? I wanted to say... Um... I want to go check on Ollie. You, uh... You just chill. I have... Uh... Is, all, is Ollie a lie, too? <laughs> Oh, oh, all me kind of, It's in his I name. Know, He's not I mine. Know. Nothing's I wanna, real. I want to just kind of stumble out, <laughs> go down, maybe grab a, a drink of water on the way, um, and walk okay. towards towards the ship. Yeah. So you begin to make your way out of the sprawled brawlers, and it's the you walk through uh, the evening air. It's very calm, very serene. Uh, uh, there's people who are, are walking through uh, knockout stay as well. Uh, it's still kind of rowdy in that that tavern next door. Um, you get uh, a little bit towards the main road before a sound of heavy thuds just uh, catch your attention. It's like time for a champion. All right, put him up. All right. <laughs> uh, you begin to head towards the sound. All right. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you make your way uh, through a few of these uh, more. Uh, it's still in the rest of the district, but uh, more towards the entrance, uh, and then through uh, buildings that are, are are not not important, but and, and through the alleyway of them, and then behind one of this uh, the these structures. Uh, kind of backlit by the moonlight here you see you see the silhouette of a furred cat-like humanoid just pinning these large muscular black leathered furred armored vikings same helmets with the horns that you recognize. Two of them laid out on the ground already. The biggest one, who seemed to have been the leader during the battles, pinned up. And then with one swift movement, lifted up, slammed onto his back, right here, behind this building, where no one has entirely saw but you. You've stumbled upon this. Creature breathes heavily and then looks over, notices that you're watching. I'm like standing there wide-eyed with my hands up like like I'm gonna fight. <laughs> I put them immediately down. <laughs> up like you're gonna fight like this? It's a fucking yes. Muay Thai. <laughs> like. I look at him, I just go, meow? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. The pointed cat-like ears twitch slightly. And the person, the figure, stays frozen, locked in a stare with you. But you don't see their face, and that's where we end this session. I hate Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm excited for the next episode. It's gonna be really, really. They're wearing a mask. Fun. Just kidding, they're not. They're wearing a face mask, and it looks like uh, we have a lot to talk about on just World with my favorite, my literal favorite dynamic guys. Can we just be drunk all the time? It's fun as hell. <laughs> pirates are drunk all the time. We are, yeah, drunk. Pirates usually do get drunk a lot. Ah uh ha! -huh, all right, it's time to shout out the patrons, baby. Yeah, we're at the end of the episode. You already know we got to shout out our awesome patrons. So let's give a cool shout out to Blue Blend Block. To Elise, the washed up bard, Zerberus, Alyssa, Dreamstrider, Beats, Ben 10, Logan, Cryosonis Sin, 
buttery toast, iridescent cakes, viridin, miscellaneous, expoogaloo, creepy reaper, Kirby Wafro, grilled salmon, king of ranch, serene is actually a skeleton, Alexis Kira, Unoya Loon, Gillian's biggest fan, Rashiz Nivy, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, your gal pal Valerie V, Jello Gumdrops, Edgy Moss, Charm of the Bard, Zigzag Sugar, Non Zlotl, Asteria Nix, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and last but not least, Jay Newell. Guys, if you want your name screamed at the end of our Just Roll With It episodes, make sure you're over on patreon.com slash just roll with it and get that $50 tier. Help us support the show and hear us scream your name. Anyways, take care.